everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel, you are watching Nisha and today it's the season, it's Christmas time, my favorite time of the year and we are making some Christmas sugar cookies so they're going to be nice and they're going to have different little molds and super duper cute and so pretty so let's get started for our dry ingredients you'll be needing 3 cups of all purpose flour you're going to be needing 1 4 teaspoon of salt and 1 4 teaspoon of baking powder. I put it inside here so it's already mixed, both of these components. Then you'll be needing some cinnamon, which is obviously optional. You can use any spices, vanilla, it does not matter. I'm going to be using cinnamon as my smell or scent. Then you're going to be needing 1 cup of sugar. So let's get on to the wet ingredients. For the wet ingredients, you're going to be needing one cup of softened, softened butter, um, preferably unsalted, because you already added your salt, and you're going to be needing one large egg and some milk. So let's go bake. Bake. Bake dough. In a large bowl, combine your butter. your sugar and mix until it is nice and creamy. butter and sugar now looks like this and now for the dry ingredients so you grab your flour your salt and baking powder and add it inside the mixture of flour and half a teaspoon of cinnamon which I'm going to add you it's optional for you guys if you do not want it it's okay just add that in and mix until it is well incorporated and all one mixture. It's supposed to smell delicious. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little more because it doesn't smell that yet. getting there so now that you have both of your mixtures you're going to add your flour mixture into the butter mixture butter and sugar one and add it gradually and slowly until it is well incorporated and keep on adding your flour mixture let's mix lumps or chunks like this <sighs> it should form into a dough mixture so if it isn't, then add a little bit more flour. This is a workout. 
adding even more and keep mixing until all your flour is well incorporated. So I have my delicious Christmas cookie dough and it looks like a dough, it looks very nice. So now grab your cling wrap, which you're gonna use. Ow! So I got most of the dough out, set this aside, and I'm just gonna make it into, like flatten it out a bit, make it the perfect look. Okay. Okay. You guys can see. Now what you're gonna do, come my side, and you're gonna kinda just press down on all the sides and go like this till it forms a rectangle shape on all four sides keep on going with this now you're just gonna fold it just the edges then go like this soften it out and now you have your batter and put it in the fridge for 30 minutes to in one hour. Let's go. So my batter has chilled for about an hour. So we're, I'm gonna cut it in half and pop the other half into the fridge for it to keep chilling while I use the other half for now. So let's go pop this in the fridge really quick. So I have a little bit of some flour here. Uh, we have to kind of work a little fast because you don't want it to like melt, I guess. So I'm just gonna pour a little bit of some flour here. <clears throat> and I'm just gonna take my my dough. So I have my rolling pin and my dough out. I cut half of it, so this is only half of it. Um, so I'm just gonna spread it out on my little spreadsheet. You do not want it to stick to the sur you do not want it to stick to the surface or the pin. So try avoiding that and just adding a lot of flour. Oops. So I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit more flour because it's a little sticky. I have my little rose gold Christmas mold, which are really cool. So this is an ornament. So we're just gonna place it onto here, push down, and I'm gonna start just placing every single one. We have a star, a little stocking or sock. Ding, 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 bell. Hit that notification bell to be notified every time I post. A Christmas tree, iconic. And a little J. Just kidding, it's a candy cane. So I did all the molds. So I'm gonna twist. I'm gonna twist and I'm gonna pull them apart. So we have our so you kind of just want to pull it from the rest of the batter. Test out the Christmas tree, my favorite mold. You know what, we're actually going to put it right here. So then I'm just going to twist and pull it. Yay guys, it worked. So I'm going to, hold on for a second, and I'm going to grab my baking sheet and I'll be right back. Woo! So I'm transferring my Christmas tree right here 
onto my parchment paper lined pan. And let's keep working. So I'm just gonna be taking my candy cane. See, a lot of flour does do the trick. Lifting it up. Ooh -hoo -hoo. So cute, guys. And then placing it on. Oh man, it's so pretty. Guys, look how cute they are. So cute. Um, grabbing some more flour, putting it on my work surface. So let's just transfer it onto my baking sheet. Hopefully they won't really spread. I don't think they will spread much, but they still might spread. So you don't know, you never know. So let's just hope they don't spread that much. You're, we could have a little bit of some mess ups, like it's not that bad. Uh, I do not have any room for any more. So this is my first baking sheet, guys. Look how cute it is. I got my Christmas trees, my stocking, and my other stuff. So yeah, let's keep on doing this until all our cookies, our dough is used. I have flour on the floor everywhere, but until all our dough is used. So let's keep working. By the way, set your um, oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. I think it's like 180 Celsius. I don't know. But anyways, I have a little announcement to make. We just reached 700 subscribers. So thank you guys so much for 700 subscribers. It's amazing. So thank you guys for that. And this month, a little announcement again, I'm going to be doing, if you guys have any guests, Christmas themed things on my channel, only Christmas themed. Um, I thought it would be like a cool way to celebrate Christmas by doing Christmas themed slime, cookies, desserts, a lot of fun stuff, crafts that are doing Christmas themed. So check that out. Um, this is my first video for Christmas for December 2020. So yeah, by the way, let's get back to baking. So now let's put my cookies into the um, oven to bake for 10 to 12 minutes. So we'll just put that in like that and the bottom for 10 to 12 minutes. So let's just wait. So I took my cookies out of the oven and they look super duper delicious. So here's the one I'm going to be trying. It's the Christmas tree, it's a little bent. So actually some of them burnt a little because they were um, a little thinner than the other ones, but this one did not burn. So let's try it. It's very soft and really tastes like cinnamon. So that's very good. I'd give it about a eight out of 10 because it's kind of plain. Top it off with some icing and it's going to be delicious. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, put a big thumbs up and like this video and turn on the bell notification. So, I hope you guys, to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.